mildew or mold on the side of your property. Now this is vinyl siding. Vinyl siding is almost a plastic type material where it has pores in there, little areas where it can trap things like dirt and dust and leaves and whatever from the outdoor elements. So when you have humidity or you have great big tall trees that have overgrown the house and the sunlight can't get in and the air can't get in, it starts building up on the surface of your outside. As you approach the house, that has a really pungent smell. So even before they get to the house, even before they've looked at your property, and it might be immaculate on the inside, but if the outside of your property looks like this, the first thing that they're going to think of is, oh, this house is neglected. If this house is neglected on the outside, what else are they hiding? So we want to make sure that it doesn't look nasty as well as that it smells nice and pleasant. Now, a couple of things that I want to pay attention to as we are talking about the mildew on the side of the house is the difference between mold and mildew. Mildew is kind of a two-dimensional, if you will. It looks like a powder. It looks like a film. It looks like a mold that's on the surface. Mold is actually more three-dimensional where it can like grow fur and it can kind of grow into a glob and it's more three-dimensional. So the difference between mold and mildew is that they're both organic. They both grow like wildfire and you don't want either of them in your home. But if you see traces of either of them in your home, it can produce this kind of a musty smell that you're kind of like, <coughs> and it just makes you feel bad in your respiratory system, okay? It's very damaging to your health to have either mold or mildew present. So the very first thing approaching your house that I want to mention is that you have some kind of a spray. Now you can remove this on the outside of your property by having either a pressure washer, for example, and using a bleach combo. I want to give you a couple of quick tips about that from the cleaning side. If you're going to use something like bleach, and bleach is a sodium hypochloride, and it has a very strong smell as well, but it can also kill plants and do damage if it is not used properly. So you want to make sure before you use it that you water all of your plants really well, because if any of it seeps off the side of your house while you're spraying it down, you want to make sure as it ekes into the ground that it doesn't kill your grass and that it doesn't kill your plants and stuff like that. So water your grass, water your plants really well. Then you want to get a great big drape or a covering and you want to cover your plants so that if there's any overspray from the pressure washing and it splashes off onto your bushes, that it doesn't harm your plants in any way. So hypochloride is fine as long as you're using it under these circumstances, okay? So you want to just make sure that you're using it with care. So that's a pressure washer and you'll pressure wash it off the side of your house using a bleach spray. You can also use chlorine from swimming pools. So it's going to come down to a cost factor, but they're all done and applied the same way. So if you're going to use bleach, there's a very specific way to do it. The next thing that I have to mention is that you use personal protective equipment when you're using bleach because bleach is very strong to the eyes. It's bad for the respiratory system if you just inhale it. So you wanna make sure that you are wearing an N95 mask and that you are wearing protective glasses as well. This will keep your face from breathing it in and then also protect your clothing because if any of it splashes on your clothing, boom, that outfit's gone, right? So you wanna make sure that you are careful when you use it, but that is the way that I would recommend for the outside of your house. 